and HGIS data are available for download in several formats, each optimized for particular needs and personal preference. The available options on your Review and Submit page may differ, depending on the types of data added to your data cart. The default data file structure is comma delimited. This CSV file contains field names optimized for operation in a GIS. This file also works well with spreadsheet software. By checking this box, the comma delimited file will also include an additional descriptive header row. This structure is best when working with data in a spreadsheet program like Excel. Fixed width format is the appropriate option when using statistical software like SPSS, SAS, or STATA. The .dat fixed width file is provided along with .sps, .do, and .sas command files. If you requested time series tables, the number of tables requested is shown along with three table layout options available. With time varies by file, data are placed in year-specific files. With time varies by column, data for different times are placed in separate columns within one file. With time varies by row, data for different times are placed in separate rows within one file. In other words, do you want the populations for 1970 Cook County, Illinois, and 1980 Cook County, Illinois in completely separate files, as a single record in the same file, or as separate records in the same file? If source tables are selected in the extract request, the number of tables and approximate zipped file size are shown. If any source tables are requested at the geographic level of block or block group, you must select which states to include in the extract. Data for all other geographic levels are delivered for the entire United States, rather than specific states. If the selected source tables include breakdowns such as spatial, racial, or industry, or American Community Survey data, the choice is available to combine or separate the different breakdown categories. By default, all breakdown categories are combined into a single file. For ACS data, this places the estimates and margin of errors into separate columns within a single data file. Separating the different breakdown categories into distinct files will split the estimates and margin of error values into many unique files. Finally, if GIS boundary files were included in the extract request, the number of files will be listed. There are no options to select. Enter a description of your extract if you choose. When creating multiple extracts, the descriptions may remind you of the contents. Submit your extract.